Every artist should have a website under their own domain. And at minimum, it should at least be a landing page that has links to all of your other social media accounts, your music, your merch, and anything else that you wanna put on there. Now, generally, we kind of feel like we have one of two options. Either A, we use a website that looks like this, and is formatted great for desktop, but doesn't really work as well on mobile. Or B, we use a link and bio tool that looks great on mobile, but ends up looking like this on desktop. But what if I told you there's a way to have your cake and eat it too? A way to build your website so that it formats correctly on desktop and looks really pretty, but that also formats automatically like a link in bio on mobile, all under your own branded domain. Well, I figured out how to do that with card. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I created my website to format as a landing page on desktop and a link in bio on mobile. So this is my website in the back end of card. Now there are two main sections I wanna point out. First of all is this main image section, which is the part that formats for desktop. And the second part, if I scroll down, is this link in bio section that you can see is grayed out here on desktop. But if I change the visibility from desktop to mobile, you can see that this formats for mobile and is no longer grayed out, whereas the desktop portion is now grayed out. So this first section is the part, the background of my desktop website. So it consists of this background image. I've got my header image here. And then if I move this over here, you can see that I've got my links on the top right here. And then scrolling all the way down to my site, I've got a floating footer that has my social links and my email signup form. Then I've got a secondary footer that is formatted for mobile. So if we come all the way back up to the top, the significant thing about this is that I've set this to only appear on desktop. So if I go to the settings tab on this image and scroll all the way to the bottom, you can see that the visibility for this is set to desktop only. Now I've done that for this background image. I did it for these links at the top and I did it for my header image, my logo in the top left, which is hidden behind this bar right now. So my standard header is set to desktop only with visibility. And then my footer is also set to desktop only with visibility. Now, if I scroll down to the mobile section and I click on this, you can see that the visibility on this is mobile only. And I've done the same thing for this mobile only footer at the very bottom. If I go to the settings on that and scroll to the bottom, that is set as mobile only. So what this does is it essentially allows me to nest two different websites inside of one website and everything appears at my own domain, tomdupreethethird.com. So when I go to my website on desktop, it appears like this. You can't scroll anywhere. It's just a single landing page image that has my logo, links to everything that I wanna take you to, and then links to all of my social media accounts, and then a contact form, which is built into my site as well, if you wanna get in touch with me. And then lastly, I've got an email sign up down here at the bottom if you wanna sign up for my mailing list. But when I go to my website on my phone, let's say through Instagram, I go to my Instagram profile and I see my domain, tomdupreethethird.com. When I click on it here, it's gonna take me to the exact same website, but this time it's formatted for mobile only. So you can see I've still got my picture, I've got my social links, and then I've got buttons that correspond pretty much to the links that I've got on my desktop site. And then I've got my mobile footer at the bottom here with my mailing list sign up as well. So by using card, I've effectively combined both a standard website that you would build with something like card or Squarespace or WordPress or any other website builder and a tool like bio.link or Linktree or Solo.to or any of the myriad options out there for link and bio tool. And I've combined them all into one website that all exist under my own branded domain. And I think this is important because it allows me to put my website, my branded domain, my.com in every link, in every bio, in every social platform that I'm on. Now, if you wanna get started with a website that does this exact same thing using card, I've actually created a template of my site and I will leave a link to that in the description of this video if you wanna buy that. It's only 10 bucks and you can get started with card at that link as well. So that's it for this one. If you wanna see more tips on how I use card to my advantage and make a whole bunch of stuff for my music centric business on it, uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button for this channel and you will catch all future videos on it. And if there's something specifically you wanna see, let me know in the comments. Now at the end here, I've got a couple more videos you can check out. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.